Cartesian coordinates are used to define the position of elements in a design file. They work best with structure scale data, which refers to the data that is collected and analyzed at a small localized scale, typically on the order of buildings, stadiums, and other similar structures. They use local coordinate system, meaning they use X, Y, and Z values to determine the position of an element in three-dimensional space. As you all know, the X and Y values define the position of the element on a two-dimensional plane, while the Z value defines its height or depth. These coordinates can be used to accurately place elements such as points, lines, and shapes in the design file. When working with Cartesian coordinates, the geographic location and orientation of the structure are not considered in selecting the coordinate system. It means that we consider them as standalone entities which are in association with the other components present in the same design file. Since they work with structure scale data, usually the designs occupy a volume of less than a cubic kilometer, so the curvature of the Earth does not need to be considered. Cartesian coordinates are commonly used for engineering and architectural design purposes as they allow for precise and accurate placement of design elements. Now, this is not to say that these disciplines do not use geographic coordinate system. It just means that they can choose to be in Cartesian coordinate system while being designed purely as design elements and then be converted to a geographic coordinate system where the design is ready to be displayed in a bigger picture on the Earth. For example, if you are designing a building with the side facing us as the front side, you can put the origin anywhere you want, such as at the left corner of the front side of the building. Then the positive x-axis would be aligned with the front of the building and the positive y-axis with the side of the building. If the building is a 3D structure, the positive z-axis would represent the height of the building from the origin. This is just an example to see how Cartesian coordinates work in a Cartesian coordinate system where all data entry and readout is relative to this coordinate system. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.